Hey you right guys, Trey from Just Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 19 of Pretty Little Liars Season 7, which is, of course, the penultimate episode, and we have the grand finale coming up uh, later this week. I'm going to watch it. I think it's like a 90 minute episode, so it's basically two episodes in one, um, but either way, it's the final episode, so I'm just super excited to uh actually do the finish this show like with team wolf because pretty little lies and team wolf were the two big shows i started at the same time back in 20 uh 17 i want to say it was like may or june of 2017 it was uh, in the same week it was team wolf and pretty little lies and team wolf when i was getting around uh to this place in team wolf i was like okay yeah six b's had some well season six had some you know pretty bad episodes but i felt like it was all coming to an end and I was a little bit sad, I was a little bit nostalgic for, you know, some of the great moments in Team Wolf as well and some of the bad moments, but I, I was feeling like nostalgic and, okay, I've really enjoyed doing this, because um, I think Team Wolf was exactly 100 episodes, so obviously we finished it uh, a while ago now, but before this, obviously. But with this, because this final, like, Team Wolf Season 6 was not the best season of the show, but it still felt like they were trying <laughs> and they, you know, had some uh, reasonable conclusions to characters. Whereas here, I am just confused and appalled as to how, like, this got greenlit. <laughs> like, I've been thinking about it more and more, like a nightmare or like a sleep paralysis demon. It's just pretty little liar season seven. How did they agree to this? Like, everyone agreed that this should be the final season. It's just awful. It's so bad. I'd understand, like, if it's not on the level of seasons one, two, and three, because they were, like, the golden seasons of Pretty Little Lies. I'd get that. But to say this is the worst season uh, is an understatement. Like, or, I don't know, understatement. It's just the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> um so i'm excited to see i guess what they do in this last or the last two episodes here uh, i have no high expectations as i said i'm not even bothered about who ad is i'm genuinely curious to who ad is because i have no idea who they're going to pull out of the bag this is one of those shows i've never tried to really guess who a or ad is um anytime but whoever it'll be i'm just excited to see not in like a good way i'm not like oh yeah i can't wait to see who ad is because i'm like super invested no nothing like that i'm excited to see because i want to see how fucking awful um the choices they have made to you know pull whoever it is out of the bag uh random dip in the bar oh it's oh it's uh lucas it, it could just be that or oh, nola north like you don't know the beauty of these last two episodes but uh, yeah episode 19 guys if you enjoy remember to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe and of course all the uncut reactions will be over on patreon if you want access to those so let's do this <laughs> wish me luck i'm going in <laughs> why does emily always look like she's just shut herself <laughs> they're all like <laughs> <laughs> meme hey, if it's just something caught on the release we may be able to <laughs> this is a joke, it's like an NFL skit. NFL. This is so stupid. Just get him. How has she got out of that one? Are you okay, Emily? I'm just glad that you didn't bust him. We have to do something. Mode is only AD. Oh, thank God Emily figured it out. Was this the 10th time they've played the wrong person? Oh, shot. Oh. Oh, I'm actually mad. <laughs> doing this again. They are thinking it's Mona for the 50th time. Still not answering her phone. On the penultimate episode. Ezra, you have to understand. Oh, Ezra, shut up, pedophile. Yeah, but I don't think any of these are pedos, so I mean, go on, what? And now you don't even have that. I'm not being funny, Ezra, it's been a day. Give him a minute to, you know, process that Ori is a traitor. Riverdale reference. Oh, shut up, Ori. That was your first mistake, making all that noise. Is this a joke? Is this... I'm five minutes in and I think this might be a skit. But wanted. I think I'm watching a skit. And none okay. of us just caught on. Ori is talking to a corpse. Yeah, actually you should have, because then you'd be gone. Maybe I should have. Ori, shut up! What is this? All about that ticket. Once I introduce them to you, I have to fix this. I'm gone. I'm gone insane. Is this a joke? Glad you agree. I think I'm watching a joke. I think I'm actually watching a joke. So far, I've had Ori talk to a corpse. Everyone blame Mona for the fiftieth time for being AD, even though it's blatantly not. 
Uh, Ezra blaming everyone for problems, even though it's been a day. <laughs> Was I just a human going, Wah. Time for Pi be there. Not how I thought it would be. Well, the wedding wasn't how we thought it'd be either, to be honest, Anna. It was fucking awful. How did they get in that then? <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I, I Thank you for coming. I you so much. So much more. Was this meant to be a good relationship, these two? Homes and hospitals, institutions. We won't let right. that Look, it took me so Please long. Please get to sent to prison. Oh my god. Okay, come all that way to lose everything. She should be kicking off. What is this? Think of like every other show you've watched and when you get to the, that penultimate episode of what what's going on? We're gonna blow him up. When you get to that penultimate episode of the show and you're just like, yo, madness, madness, and things are going down and down. Yeah. And why is Aria suddenly got no brain cell? Oh my god. I killed the captain the transmitter if you call <laughs> Toby tapped into the transmitter of your car. Of course he did. I was talking to Bez, the editor, about the hacking in Brittle Liars. Um, yeah. Awful. Because you don't want to. You guys are arguing like you're married or something. Haha, marriage humor. Did he go back to the car or something? Oh, he's gone. He's just pissed off. Oh, he's in. Okay, great. Don't you like your pie? <laughs> I love it when Caleb tries to act like a badass because it just never works. But now you made everybody's life a living hell. Yeah, that's the one, Caleb. First, you figured it out. We're gonna pick up the game. Well done. I can't believe we're here and we're still thinking so Mona is like part of it. And so she's, all she's done is help them. All she's done is help them, and this is where we're at. <laughs> Don't even try and tell me she had time to climb through the window above you. God. Oh, a secret door. That's how she got out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe that's how Mona... <laughs> I can't get rid of Emily's face. <laughs> Look at Shazel. These arrest warrants. Thank the Lord. Arrest them all. I have a master's degree in American literature. Right. There is nothing I can't handle. What does that even mean, Ezra? We are only 17 minutes into this episode. I joke. I felt like I've been sighed for an hour. We have to go. Oh, this was the uh, yeah, intro on it. Allie, we came back for you, so move it. Was this at the start of season seven? No, this was at the start of six B. <laughs> this is a dream. This is a dream. Oh my fucking lord! Let me have strength, please. Oh yeah, that's what. That's the face I put when I bang my face on the floor as well. I just go, oh damn. Oh, back when Pretty Lies was good. Oh my lord. Oh, now you don't know about that. It took us half the episode. A waste of time. No, it's not okay. Why are we all apologising to Arya? Like she fucked up. You sure her out for like twenty four hours. It really was not that deep. If someone betrayed me, I'd be a little bit pissed for a while. It's understandable. If I've learned anything, Hannah, it's not to go in here alone. Do not go in there! She's been in there alone before and died. Someone else died going there alone and someone else died going in there alone in season one. So why are we doing this? Is that why you wanted to see me? God, I remember when she had her in little room of like... <laughs> CGI screens. She was like dead close to the camera like that. Oh, fuck. See it right now. I'm sorry, I know everyone, well, not everyone, but I'm some sure. pretty all live viewers, these reactions want me to be bolstered by None this scene. Really certain it's such an incredible scene, guys. I'm blown away. I... Oh, sweet Mona. Mona, oh, Right, great. <laughs> oh, what did I tell you? Don't go up the watchtower by yourself. Mona I really wish Mona flung Hannah out of the window, then that would have been. Genius. Oh, I love oh, why is Mona like gone insane now? That just doesn't even make sense. Here we go. Is this the last piece on it? Right. Sorted. That's the prize. Body. That's our prize. <laughs> We've spent. <laughs> like a Snapchat, Snapchat filter. 
What is this? What is this? A flippity cardian? This is so stupid. I'll. Oh, okay. Yeah. My aunt No, someone else. Abby. Okay, I want to you pull your confused face. Why would you hide a body there? We want to stop the crazy. We have to stop acting crazy. I actually kind of agree, Varya. Sadly, just leave it and dip out. She's right. What? What does that, what does that even mean? Why are we saying these things? Pfft, what's that sound? Run them all over! Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Crush them all. You ladies need any help? <laughs> what is this? Guys, what are we gonna do? Go to prison. It's what you all deserve. Tell the truth. Exactly. If they admit to everything they've done, they're all going to prison still. They've done some well, maybe much shit. When they hear Mona, we'll get some mercy. Yeah. In mercy, mercy Ali, that's the yeah. one. He was not a good man. Please just say Hannah killed her. Just set them all up. And they'll all let this happen as well. They'll just be like, yeah, you can take the blame. I don't give a fuck. As long as it gets us off. You're getting ready to. You're free to go. <laughs> I am sorry for any inconvenience. Oh, waste of what? time. Her statement is full of credible details about... Wait, did the cop not know that car repair, they were able to see into that room? Did she not know her own police board. station? Blood evidence. Theories that might be true. <laughs> Pretty little lies in a nutshell, that, nutshell then. Yeah. So she knows he's a lot shady, but she actually just cannot be asked to do anything about it. Wow. So they're all getting off scot-free. Oh, oh. That is unbelievable. Well, she actually saved all of you, so... I love that I don't... Don't go and talk... <laughs> I've got a secret, can you keep it? That's what she should have said. Oh, sorry, this is meant to be an emotional moment. Okay, let me force out a tear. Please, Mona. Please, Mona. Oh, I thought you weren't scared of her, Charlotte. Yeah, cool. What badass moment. Wow. Oh, and then she threw her out the window. Oh, this is going to be jokes. I can't wait. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Never mind. She killed her by the pipe. So her blood's on there and no one found that. So no cop investigated the window she jumped out of. I'm sorry, what? When she told us what happened to Charlotte. Right, okay. I don't know who did, but it's... Is that the big, is that like such a big reveal or something? That's how Charlotte died? Nobody mm -hmm. can, whatever. Okay, let's get out of here before things get too mushy. Good idea. Well, I mean, it'd actually be kind of nice to have an emotional kind of scene between you all. Just show some kind of emotion. But I guess, no, we'll cut that short then. Imagine if this was the finale. <laughs> Just ends here, that'd be... Fucking genius. <laughs> Was that the end of the episode? What the fuck? Uh, Alright, there we go, guys. That's episode 19 of Pretty Little Lies Season 7. Um, what, what do you think I'm going to say? Picture, picture what I'm going to say, and then I'm probably, most likely, definitely going to say it. That was fucking awful. That was abysmal. That was what the... I was going to say one of the worst penultimate episodes to a show I've ever seen, but it is actually the worst uh, penultimate episode I've ever seen to a show. And I'm sure the finale is going to be no different. Again, absolutely baffled that they greenlit this as a story. Imagine they're in a room with all the script writers and they're going through what they're going to do for the penultimate episode of the show. And this is what they shit out onto the table and they're all just like... Like, absolutely golden stuff. They're just applauding and, like, oh, they're probably all tearing up, like, <sighs> all the years of hard work and it's come to this. Where I'd be there in the corner, like, crying, like, yeah, all the build-up, all the years and all the hard work has come to this. Are you a fucking joke? That was awful. I know they tr the whole episode, all 20 minutes of the episode, was trying to blame Mona for being AD, which is a meme at this point. In, in these reactions, it is just an absolute joke that they go around blaming so many different people. They blamed Lucas two episodes ago. That was who they blamed two episodes ago. And it was like, oh, this episode is it's Mona. Oh, what can we do? It's actually a joke. And then, so 20 minutes of that. Uh, but then the other 20 minutes were trying to do this huge 
incredible reveal that Mona actually killed Charlotte and slammed her head into a pipe and then made it look like a suicide. Big whoa. Who gives a fuck? Who actually cares that Mona killed Charlotte? And now they've had Mona go back to her like this crazy state, even though she's not shown any signs of being like that since season one, maybe? Maybe season two. She's not shown any signs of having that kind of crazy A fantasy in the head or whatever. I know she's not turned to A in that moment there, but it, they've made her like she's completely lost her mind at this point, but she's shown no signs of that. And they're making out that the reason she's like this now is because they showed her the board game. Ugh, what a waste of a great character. Like, she is the best character in the show and they've completely... This is... If they end her character like that, I swear to God. Like, what... It doesn't even matter at this point. They've already ruined her with that episode. It's just so forced. I feel like they were just like, oh, we need to have, like, crazy Mona come back. So let's force it into the penultimate episode of when she talks about how she killed Charlotte. And literally no one actually gives a shit. No one actually cares that Mona killed Charlotte. It's so stupid. And then they all got caught by the police pretty much red-handed about to dig up a body. But they all got let off scot-free because Detective Tanner basically, in other words, went, I can't be asked." Like, she actually cannot be asked to investigate it anymore. She was just like, oh, Mary Drake's taking the blame, even though I know that what she's telling is bullshit. But I'll just let all of them go. So they've... All this build-up of the police investigating them and having these boards and, like, pinning everything together doesn't mean anything because all it took was Mary Drake to go like, oh yeah, I did it. And they're all else got free. What a waste of time. What a waste of time of like all these detectives investigating them and all of the whole time when the Prilla lies were shitting themselves whether they'd be caught or not. And this is, that's what it boiled down to. Seven seasons, uh, we're not even on the finale, it was seven seasons of like detective work and that's what we get. Think of all the detectives we've gone through and all the times our lives have been like, we're going to be caught, oh my god, the, the police are going to find out. And that's, that's what it led to, was Tana going, yeah, I can't prove it, see you later. Oh no, she, yeah, she went and was like, judges, judges really like a straightforward story and you guys are not a straightforward story, so get on out of here. And that, they were just all like, yeah, okay, see you later, and just all zipped out. Was, uh, like, I'm actually shocked. Uh, did anything else happen? We didn't even see Toby. Like, all these main characters that probably should be in the final few episodes were not even in it. Ezra was crying because the liars turned their back to Arya. Rightfully so. <laughs> Arya went around. What did she do? Pour blood around Emily and Alison's baby's room? She should be shunned for a few days. And Ezra's there like, meh, you've all done evil things as well. Yeah, so? Ori's fucked up, let him shun her for a bit, but he proper cried about it, and then they were all like, oh, I'm sorry, Aria. Ooh. Oh, and that scene as well with Aria, with the dead body in the car, and she was, oh, that was such a joke. And the cop was there, like, pushing onto the boot. Oh, my God. Uh, and then she found her keys and got out. That was, like, like as I said, that actually just felt like an, an SNL skit, not a NFL, <laughs> I think I said, <laughs> an NFL skit. But it felt like that, um, and yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if, it, if this whole episode was an SNL skit. So, yeah, that was a scene that existed. Oh, <laughs> what can I even say? Oh, my God. We have one more episode. Fuck me. The range of this episode is a... I'm actually trying to think of one thing I liked. Let me try and think of one scene or one like they could have had an emotional moment where spencer was actually trying to like i felt like was trying to have an emotional moment with him at the end there but they were all like i don't know let's get out of here before it gets too soppy and i'm like it's the penultimate episode get soppy who like that's the kind of scenes we need you've had seven years of going through a load of shit have a soppy moment but they were just like nah don't want to do that and they all left the room so i can't even say i like that would have been a scene i might have liked but i don't it ruined it so don't like what they did with Mona at all she's maybe the saving grace of the episode but what they did with her was abysmal and they had this stalked to that shitty cafe and then she escaped into a basement Ezra hacked into Arya's car keys to find out where she was oh, I've hacked into the car mainframe it's just like no Ezra hated Ezra hated Arya hated Emily and Alison's forced romance at this point uh, Spencer, who I typically love, was just boring, and this whole Mary Drake thing. Yeah, I, d I didn't like anything. I'm going to go a 1 out of 10. Honestly, I just, 
like part of me is like, oh, do I give it like a three or a four, like I've done with the other episodes? But I feel like even the last three episodes, there was maybe like one or two scenes that I at least liked that were like there. Okay, like, oh, that was a scene that was okay. There we go. So it stops it from being the one out of ten. But here, there was not a single moment where I was like. Oh, that was good. Honestly, there was not a single moment that I enjoyed about this episode. It was fucking abysmal. Uh, if you guys can find one scene that was actually good about this episode. Because uh, I can actually imagine people watching this and being super shocked that Mona like killed Charlotte or something. But to me, as I said, I don't care. Like, who actually cares about that? That feels like they just wanted to do something with Mona so they had to kill Charlotte. And it was like some big twist. But honestly, who gives a fuck? No one cares, man. Yeah, one out of ten for the episode. That was just a boring mess. That was so shit. And it's the penultimate episode. All right, there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. <laughs> if you enjoyed this reaction. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people probably will not enjoy this. But uh, I'm not going to, like I say, I'm not going to just... Like when Spence is getting emotional with Mary Drake. I'm not going to pretend I care. And I'm like, oh, this is so adorable. Her and like... No. It, to me, that's still a forced relationship is Spencer and this mum reveal. As soon as they revealed it, I was like, that's fucking dumb. And they're still trying to drag it out and it's just... Well, at that point as well, it's like they have to do something with it because they've done that reveal that Mary Drake is her mum or whatever. And so they have to do something with it, but it was just too late. And it's just such a bad reveal anyway. So even when they did it, I didn't care. I don't care now. They've not even really tried. They just did one scene where they're like, oh, thanks, mum. And that was it. Yes, yeah, so one out of ten guys. Thank you for watching. And like, if you did enjoy, then leave a like. I'm guessing not many did. But <laughs> I'll see you next time for episode 20, which is the finale. 90 more minutes. God, what are they going to do in 90 minutes? Can't bloody wait. So yeah, until then guys. Peace.